Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the DC Collectibles action figure of Holiday Joker from Batman the Animated Series. This Holiday Joker action figure is based on his look in the Christmas with the Joker episode, and they did a great job capturing his look in action figure form. Like, it's just perfect. That's probably one of the greatest things about the uh, DC Collectibles animated series line of figures, is just how great they really look like the characters just sort of leapt off the screen as far as design goes. I mean, his sweater looks great. The actual, like, shape of it all. The shape of the figure in general, just like the lines of his legs, the lines of uh, his torso, and the shoulder slope, all of it. Um, paint job is pretty clean as far as, like, the purple pants goes. His slippers and his socks look good. Um, then you get up to the chest, the red vest looks good against the green shirt underneath. Not red vest, but the, the vest section of it. It's like a soft section and then the, the arms are just attached. Gloves look good. I mean, it all looks good. Here it is from the back. Not a lot of wrinkle stuff to speak of because it's a pretty clean kind of animated series look. But one thing that the figure does get really right is his head. Um, it's a really good looking head. I really dig the way they handled the smile. Um, this one's really cleanly painted. There were some in stores, if you want to be on the lookout for something, some of the teeth can be really uh, kind of poorly painted. And also the eyes can be painted off mark of where they should be. In fact, of all the ones I saw, this is the only one where the paint, eyeball paint, was entirely where it was supposed to be as far as the actual eyeball placement. Love the shape of the eyes. I love the, uh, the little pupils looking off to the side. I love the wrinkled kind of brow. The attitude in this face is great. And I like that the, the Santa hat is part of the original uh, head mold. It's not... A separate piece that gets attached and then looks slightly bigger to fit over the head and looks weird. It looks great. It looks natural because it's, you know, a part of them. The figure also comes with some alternate hands. It comes with these, uh, like, little kind of tighter, pinchy grip hands. Those are for gripping this candy cane. Uh, and then it also comes with these wider grip hands. But for what? I don't know because it doesn't come with any, anything else to grip. It doesn't come with like a pipe, it doesn't come with a microphone, which would be like the most obvious accessory this would come with, considering he uses a microphone when he's hosting Christmas with the Joker. You can see the standard articulation here, the uh, the swiveling ankles, the single, uh, you know, knee joint, the uh, the hinge at the waist that comes forward and then out, the, uh, the ball hinge shoulders, the swiveling elbow joints, we got the swiveling and hinging wrists that come inward, and then we've got the... Uh, single kind of ball joint at the top of the head, but not a lot of range of motion there. It's kind of tight. Um, aside from those hands I showed you, he comes with one other awesome hand. This is freaking great. It comes with his little uh, little hand puppet hand, Laffy. And uh, the detail on it's great. It's even got like the yellow feet and little yellow lining on his little like elf costume, just like he does in the episode. This is a nice touch. This is an awesome looking accessory. Another awesome accessory is the Christmas tree from the Christmas with the Joker set, which has the exact same shape as it does in the episode. This is a really good screen accurate accessory, and it also comes with five ornaments. Those five ornaments are also the exact same color and design as they appear in the episode, including the one blue ornament that's got the little white stuff on top. So that is a really cool screen accurate accessory. This tree looks awesome. And another fun accessory that, you know, this figure and all the figures come with is the uh, animated series figure stand, which features a little artwork of the Joker with a pipe, even though, you know, eh, it doesn't come with a pipe in the uh, the actual figure that, that's uh, featured here. But if you just plug in a little figure stand uh, base uh, pull thing, and then the little arm on top, it's a slidey arm, which I really dig all these figures do. It can slide up and down along the pole, but more importantly, the little claw can kind of slide forward and back over the, the center of the base wherever you need it to for how big your figure is. So here's the figure with his Laffy hand on, and I got him clamped in with the uh, figure stand, even though he doesn't really need it. Um, but I just want to show you guys what it looks like. But the figure stands really good on its own. Uh, the figure itself looks great. Like, you just see it standing here with all the accessories, like... Looks great. Like, this is a great, great version of the Joker. Great rep representation of the Joker from that episode. As a fan of that episode, and as a fan of, like, Christmassy stuff in general, like, this is such a rad set. I'm a big fan of this. I think it turned out great. I think if you're a fan of Joker from the animated series and this episode, you're gonna love it. What's not to love? This looks great. Thanks for watching, everybody, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that crap.